Hey, I'm Jeff. I'm Lee. I'm Stu. We're no devotion. When you're in a band, you're always worrying about upsetting other people and you're always worrying about making sure everybody has a fair say and it, it, can, get, it can get very kind of constricting very quick. Whereas this just feels very free and open and yeah, it's, it's, very, it's very fluid and... I don't know, I think it's pretty, pretty relaxed. So the way we do everything at the moment, we've never written a song together in the studio. So I'll write a bunch of stuff, Stu will write a bunch of stuff and you'll send it all to Jeff and then it's kind of whatever Jeff likes. And it's very, it's a nice way to do it. There's no stress if you don't get feedback on a song, we don't use it, you just write another one. You know, I want to make sure that I, if I'm not, if I've done a bunch of Stu songs, I want to make sure to really pay attention to Lee's songs and see what I like because I think like, He's an amazing songwriter and I want to make sure that we keep a balance of elements. And you know, on the opposite side, like if I'm just gravitating towards Lee's stuff, then I want to get like Stu's take on something. It's a very like, it's funny, I think the band politics now are something that we naturally gravitate towards and also it just happens to be what's best for each record is also sort of the, the politic. It's like, well, if all three of us have our input in it, it's going to be the best that it can be. Yeah. But it's not going to be a struggle. In the past, I think getting everybody's input in can be a kind of balancing, a bit of a balancing act. Well, I think Stu often gives me kind of like a mood, you know, uh, it's like a piece of atmosphere and a feeling. And I love that, you know, that's the way that I work. Um, and Lee is like an incredibly uh, accomplished songwriter where each piece feels like it clicks into the next piece and there's a lift and there's a drive. And like, they're very different styles I find actually. Like I think of, of Lee very compositionally and I think of Stu as more of kind of like, if the overall feeling's right, then, then go with it. And so when you put those two together, they're, they're kind of both the sides of, of songs that I love. Um, so it's really, it's really, I don't know, I love it. It's to have people do such different things I think is important. It's easy to get into a band where people do the same thing and there's no balancing that because they all like the same thing. And sometimes that's great. You turn everything to 11 and point it one direction and you get something cool. But when you have a little bit of everything that works, you know, and, and we're still pointing in one direction obviously, but within that there's more texture, there's more nuance, there's more storytelling, there's more like of a song songwriting. And I think, um, yeah, I really enjoy that. Yeah. yeah. When you said that, I realized, you know, something which was, I guess I write more like a hip hop kind of EDM producer. Definitely hip hop. I see you that. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like I, I'm heavily into hip hop and I always have been. And, uh, and with Lee, I think he's definitely uh, more of like a song, classic songwriter, you know, like, you know, so I think it's a great mix, you know, like. Yeah, I think it works really well together. Yeah. It's like we've reached the boundaries of what, either of us does I think it's quite broad between us but still fits in the same thing and like often like Stu will take ideas of mine and like turn them upside down and that's also really cool yeah essentially a song like love songs from fascist Italy it's the demo you know yeah no like we yeah you know we added a couple little sprinkles but it's, it's the demo it's the song that yeah. you wrote it's, it's almost exactly the same you yeah. know and then there's a song like endless desire it's like the whole thing's been warped dramatically. And so the heart of the song's still in there, but it's kind of, it's the remix. You know what I mean? It's a different thing. Yeah. yeah. Broken Land's that. another one is pretty much exactly the same as the demo, but then Sky Deep and Clear is the same parts, but in a completely different order. <laughs> that was probably the hardest one to work on when we had, like literally took the pieces and just put them in a completely different order. Yeah. That's kind of what I love about it. It doesn't really sound like anything else. It just sounds like us. It just sounds like the music we grew up and put on a blender, you know, like as terrible as that, you know, analogy is, it's just, it's just us. It just sounds like the music we like and the music we wanted to make and that's it really. You yeah, know, it's, I think it's we're really very good simple. At, at having a lot of influences, but not like putting them on display. There are a lot of bands out there right now and like bands that I like, but they tend to stray too close to what they're into. And you, you like it because it sounds like the thing they're influenced by, but for us, we just tend to, I don't know how, we seem to sort of camouflage it better. But that's a subconscious thing though, don't you think? I don't, don't yeah, yeah, yeah. It, for me, it's like, just to copy something outright is pointless. When you, when you encounter a band that melts different influences in in ways that haven't been done, there's a, 
there is a tendency sometimes to have an idea, oh, we're gonna put this thing next to this thing and it doesn't work, but we're gonna make it work because we believe that it could work. And that's not at all what we've done on this record. I think it's just that between the three of us, you know, they have a, a, a history of, you know, uh, Welsh music and, and music from the UK and, you know, grew up in, in a lot of like different things than I did, you know, growing up in New Jersey and having sort of a, an East Coast hip hop and a certain sort of like punk rock background. And they have maybe, uh, you know, some extra added stuff that we didn't have over here, like Acid House and stuff like that. And, and I think that we weren't trying to prove anything by putting those styles together, but because we had this sort of wide love of music, we would see a part starting to take shape and you know if it started leaning into territory that seemed so anachronistic but it worked for the song we knew enough about that genre to kind of like develop that side of it and really like bring in some unexpected elements from those those you know whether it's you know an old revivally gospely type thing through an indie rock or you know a more you know, modular sounding synth part or, you know, a strange envelope that you would only get in, in British rave culture, acid house, different kinds of, you know, trance. It's all these different things coming together, but because they work for the song, you know, we don't ever go into a song, we got to put, it's got to be this style and we got to put this thing in to make it sound like that style. It's, that's the thing that I'm really yeah. proud of with this record is it starts with the song, it starts with the feeling and everything comes out of that and then you get the filter and the love letter to all the different music that yeah. we've loved in our yeah. life you know yeah and even if even if we would want to homage you know like pay homage or anything it would be more like i wanted to feel like this song made me feel you know whereas a lot of people are like well i have to have the same guitar with the same guitar pedals <laughs> i'm like no i want it's that yeah there. it's like i want the feeling the song gives me it doesn't have to sound anything like it you know it's just it has to give me the same feeling 